Hi all and welcome to Organimed. This video is going to be all about Pyrex tutorial. As you all are aware that Pyrex is used for virtual screening. All right, and uh, Pyrex is also used for multiple ligand docking. It provides a facility of multiple ligand docking, uh, which, is, uh, which is not available in any other uh, freely available software. So I think as a boon for all of us that, um, that through Pyrex software, we can uh, dock multiple ligands in our protein of interest. All right, and also we can get uh, results of uh, our docking in pretty less time as compared to auto dock and auto dock vena, which uh, usually docks only a single ligand at a particular time and is also little time consuming. So Pyrex here provides the best facility. So Pyrex here it has a um, auto dock and auto dock vena wizard embedded in it. Apart from it, Pyrex also has OpenBabel embedded in it, which provides the facility of easy conversion of ligand from SDF format to PDB format. So you don't need to convert uh, each and every ligand um, um, into from SDF to from SDF to PDB format because once you download it from any chemical database in SDF or MDL mode format, you can just uh, place the you can just directly put your ligand into the Pyrex software and it will automatically convert your ligand to or PDB beauty format. All right, so there's a benefit also here. All right, so before starting the video, I want to say that. Um, some people have also asked me for the link of Discovery Studio software. So in this, in the video, in the description box of this video, you will find the link for Biowe Discovery Studio. Also, uh, I want to say that uh, some people have replied that they face, they are still facing certain errors while uh, running Autodoc. So I, I just want to tell you uh, that please, um, that whenever you face any problem regarding Autodoc or Autodoc Vena in command file or something like that, uh, so uh, in command file or Python cell, then I will just re then I'm requesting you to send me the pic along with the problems. Mention your problem and send me the pics which you are, uh, which was showing you while you are running Autodoc. All right, because it would provide me a general good generalization of what exactly the problem you are facing. All right. Can meet your problems along with the pics. All right, it would be it would be better then. And you can mail it on uh, organimate2020 at the rate gmail.com. All right, and uh, now let's proceed to our video. Uh, happy learning to all of you. First of all, I'm providing you the download link for Pyrex software. I had already downloaded Pyrex, so I'm not going to download it, but I'm going to provide you the but I'm showing you here, how can you download it? So once you wrote Pyrex in your Google homepage, this kind of screen will show you. This kind of screen will appear. And uh, from here, you can see Academic Pro and Enterprise version of Pyrex cost some money. So here, this version of this Pyrex is free. So I'm going to download it, click choose. And from here, you can download. And by pressing on this download button, you can download this software. All right. So this is the way you through which you can download the Pyrex software easily. Also, I will provide the download link of this Pyrex software in the description box. From there, you can also download it. All right. Apart from it, we need our protein for molecular talking. So for protein, let's open the RCSB protein data bank. And uh, the protein which I am choosing here is uh, AJF. So you can see 2AGF is the structure of the SARS coronavirus spike receptor binding domain complex with its receptor. All right, it's a viral protein. And uh, from here, you can also go for the literature search and all that. All right, as strain A, B, E, F. All right, 
so all other and you can see there is a energy molecule present to acetamido to deoxy beta d glucopyranose all right so here is the ligand energy all right and uh, other are zinc and chloride ions all right so first of all i need to download this file in the pdb format so click on pdb all right so you can see the protein has been downloaded now the next thing which we need to download is the ligand molecules so for ligand molecules let's open the pubchem database And browse many COVID-19 related compounds from PubChem. All right. All right. So from here, I'm going to choose some of the ligands for molecular docking. Let's say chloroquine. So here is the chloroquine. It's the 2D model and it's the 3D model. So we need to download the 3D conformer of uh, chloroquine in SDF format. So save it in there. After that, after that, uh, Fingoli mode. Three conform SDF format. So as I told you that in Pyrex, we can dock multiple ligand at a single time. We can dock multiple ligands in a single protein and that's a big advantage. All right, it's also time saving. After that, Darunapir. All right, and the last one is Calidestrin. Alright so, all right, so we have downloaded 4 to 5 ligands and now so we have downloaded our protein and ligand of interest. It's time for protein preparation and for protein preparation I am going to choose Biovia Discovery Studio here. Alright, I will provide the link for Biovia Discovery Studio in the description box also. From there you can download it. All right, so this is the home page of BioWare Discovery Studio, and we now wait. First of all, uh, all right. So this is the protein, and uh, these are the five ligands we have downloaded. So I'm. And now I'm going to place all these five ligands and these protein in the desktop so that it will become more convenient. All right, so just copy it from here and paste it in the desktop. All right, so 
So here are the five ligands and protein. Now in the BioWay Discovery Studio, let's open our protein. Let's do AJF. It's basically the spike protein from SARS coronavirus. All right, so click on view and then hierarchy. Hierarchy provides a better analyzation of the structure. Alright, so you can see this is the 2AJF protein. It has A, B, E, F, C, D chains and again there are some water molecules and there are also some head atoms. Also, if you select head atoms, all the head atoms will be selected and displayed in the yellow color. Alright, you remove it. Alright, so first of all, I need to delete the water molecule. So click on water. And so you can see A, B, E, and F. These A, B, E, F chains contain water molecules. All right. So just select it and then click on edit and then delete it. All right. So all the water molecules have been deleted. All right. And now we don't. So here it has head atom chain E, F, B, A. So there are maximum head atoms in the chain A. All right, and uh, chain C, chain F. So I don't need the chain A and chain E and chain F. So I'm going to delete both these chain. Also, I want to delete chain B. And head atom related with uh, not with A. It would be E and F. All right, select all these and then so this D is left. Again, click and delete it. So you can see now we are left with only one chain A, and this chain C contains only the head atoms. So I'm going to delete this chain C also. Delete it. All right. So we have chain A and we also have uh, some head atoms in chain A. All right. So now I want to so for docking I want to cover this whole protein under the grid box and uh, I want to remove these head atoms present in chain A also. Click on delete. Yeah, so now we have only chain A, we have protein group, and we have ligand groups. All right, and uh, now, all right, so after this, we need to add hydrogen atoms, polar hydrogen atoms. So for that, click on chemistry and then hydrogen and then add polar. All right, so polar hydrogen atoms have also been added. You can check it from the display style. All right, so you can convert it in this one also and in this one also. All right, now we need to save this file in PDB format. So click on save. And then save it in PDB file, okay? So PDB format, save this to AJF in PDB format. So it's to AJF dot PDB, all right? And then save it. Already exists. Do you want to replace it? Yes. All right. So we can. So you can see we have prepared our. Process. And now let's open our Pyrex software. So here is the Pyrex. I have downloaded and installed it.
So this is the home page of Pyrex software. All right. So you can see Autodoc. Uh, and the bottom also you can see Autodoc Wizard, Vina Wizard, Run Vina, Analyze Results, Select Molecules, Open Babel. As I told you that it has Vina, Autodoc, and Open Babel embedded in it. Embedded in it, so it provides better results in a short expense of time. All right. So first of all, in Pyrex, let's open our protein. So click on File and then Load Molecule. All right, and uh, from here move on to the desktop and then to AGF is a prepared protein here. All right, so you can see this is the prepared protein. All right, you can change its display also. Select it and then click on display. So it will show you line, ball and stick, molecular surface. Is converting into molecular surface all right so you can see this is the molecular surface so this is the molecular surface view of uh, 2AGF protein all right and now again I am going to convert it in uh, I don't want this molecular surface now when we analyze the results we will do that all right uh, all right so now i need to convert this um, protein from pdb to pdb qt format so i'm going to, so what you need to do you need to select this protein and then click on autodoc and then make macromolecule all right so it will automatically convert your protein from pdb to pdb qt format all right once you do that, you move on to the autodoc and you can see macromolecule under macromolecule, you have 2AGF, all right? And you can see this is 2AGF.pdbqt, all right? All see? And you can see it is 2AGF.pdbqt, all right? Oh, all right. After that, we need to open ligand molecules. So, move on to, so click on open Babel and here, you can uh, here you can see insert new item so click on it move on to the desktop and then select your conformers one by one all right you cannot con uh, select all of them at a single time you need to select them one by one two three four and then last one all right, so we have five ligand. So you can check out the formula and weight here, number of atoms here, all right? After that, you need to uh, minimize the energy of all. So click on minimize all. It will automatically minimize and convert it from SDF to PDB also, I'm showing you. You need to do uh, all right so you can see uff dot dash e so uh, energy of all these ligands have been minimized after that click on convert all to autodoc ligand that is pdbqt format all right so click on it and all the five ligands will get converted into pdbqt format yes All right, so you can see under ligand section, we have all the five ligand. Now, move on to the Vena wizard. All right, and uh, from here, click on start and then add ligand and macromolecule. So just select it, press control and select all these and then click on forward. All right, so it will show you the grid box will appear like this All right. and if this one is the center point and these are the side points to which if you want to do blind docking you can increase the size of the grid box and you can con uh, cover this whole ligand
the dimensions you can note down the dimensions from the bottom also all right so i had covered the whole protein on the grid box and now click on forward so you can see it is running it will automatically analyze so you don't need to put any command file like as you need to do in Vina. all right it provides uh, it is quite easy to run pyrex and uh, also it takes less time so here are the benefits so all these are the benefits of using pyrex Once the docking will be over and we will get our docking score, you can analyze the results of docking using uh, or using PyMool or using UCSF Chimera or using uh, um, BioWare Discovery Studio or any other softwares of your interest. All right. You can also follow Organomet on Instagram handle that is Organomet2020, our Facebook page Organomet and Twitter and Tumblr handle Organomet. Alright, and YouTube as you are aware that our YouTube handle is Organomet. If you like the video, don't forget to press the big fat like button and uh, for more such videos, subscribe to our channel Organomet. So we have got the ligand score of two ligands. The third one is running still. If you have any queries in your mind, you can just drop a message in the comment section. You can also mail your queries on organomic 2020 at gmail.com along with the pics where you are facing any problem in any command line in autodoc in autodoc vina or any other softwares also or in any other software you can just comment it all right and um, if you like the video let me know comment down in the comment section Alright, so our docking is completed, uh, so our docking has been completed and now we have the score of all these 5 ligands. So now I want to save uh, the score of all these ligands in Excel format. So uh, in the right hand corner you will see save as comma separated values. Alright, so just click on it and it will save your file in the Excel file. So just AJF. Alright, so you can see this one is the two AJF docked with ligands. So in this Excel file, we have uh, saved all the docking score of five ligands. So once you open it, it would be more convenient to save uh, to move your docking score from Excel to Word or PowerPoint. 
all right so now let's analyze so here is the docking score of minus 7.1 with zero msd minus 5.4 minus 8.2 minus 6.8 minus 5.6 all right so you can see the best score is this minus so you can see the best score is minus 8.2 all right and uh, we can analyze this result also so in autodoc click on macro molecule and this one is the ligand 213039 which has the document score of minus 8.2 so i'm going to click on display and once you click on it all the models or all the conformations of this ligand will get generated if you want to change the ligand uh, the display of the uh, protein you can change it into molecular surface all right so this one is the molecular surface and here you can see all the of these ligands have been displayed all right all these nine models have been displayed if you want to remove you can remove it one by one and keep the ligand of your choice so one model is the my choice here because it has the highest binding affinity of minus 8.2 for better generalization I'm going to save it as PDB All right, so you can see 213039 dot. All right, so this one is the ligand, or you can say the ligand model one, this model, which I had saved in PDB format. And now we will analyze the. Uh, uh, now we will analyze the conformation of this ligand in using using bioware discovery studio you can also visualize through pymole or any other softwares like chimera and others so for now i am going to analyze it using bioware discovery studio so first of all let's open the protein so here is the 2ajf After that click on view and then hit hierarchy all right now we will open our ligand molecule so it's 213039 dot now we will we need to place this ligand in the protein so just copy it from here and paste it in the hierarchy of 2aj all right so yeah here you can see so this is the conformation we can analyze the binding site residues and all using bioware discovery studio So this one is the ligand now you can see in receptor ligand interaction we have defined our receptor is defined and now we need to define our ligand so select ligand and then click on define ligand all right so you can see under the define ligand column the name of your ligand will be displayed all right so this one is the ligand now and now under this section you can see the ligand interactions If you want to analyze all the models, you can also analyze that one. Uh, for that, you need to place all the models here and then paste it in the 2AJF protein hierarchy and then analyze it one by one. All right. But here I'm just going to analyze only one ligand. 
so this is the ligand interaction you can see for 2d ligand interaction diagram here given below in the down in order to see the 2d interaction diagram just click on uh, you can see at the bottom it is shown show 2d diagram so just click on it once you click on it it will show you the 2d interaction diagram now the 2d interaction diagram you can just place this 2d interaction diagram you can just copy it and you can place it in any of your word or powerpoint presentation you want all right it's quite easy you can also change the size and uh, shape of these uh, balls in spindle shaped or something like that all right here i'm not going to change this so in the vena tutorial i had shown you how to change the shapes and all these all right so here is the 2d diagram 2d interaction diagram and here is the 3d interaction diagram all right again all right so now you can also uh, display the receptor surface here are some shown below like aromatic receptor surface or if you want to analyze the hydrogen bond all right so donor acceptor all these are being shown charge hydrophobicity ionizability all right so these are have been so all these have been shown here So if you want to uh, see the protein chain also, so for that you need to click here in the receptor. If you want to see the pocket atoms, you can click on here. If you want to hide it, if you want to see it, just click on it. If you want to hide it, then just remove it. All right. And interaction diagram has been shown to you. So I had shown you each and everything related with Pyrex, how to dock multiple ligands using Pyrex. Pyrex is quite easy and comfortable one. As compared to Vena, all right, there is no command line and nothing like that, so you people can easily uh, work using Pyrex, all right. So I hope this video will be beneficial to all of you. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the big fat like button because when you click the big fat like button, it motivates me to make much more videos, all right. So thank you for watching this video. If you had not subscribed Organomed yet, then don't forget to subscribe. Um, thanks for watching again.